Good morning. A special welcome to all of you who are visiting St. Teresa's. Today we celebrate the fourth Sunday in Ordinary Time. Before we do begin our Mass, let us all stand up and say hello to our neighbors. Introduce yourselves to those you don't know and say hi to those you do. Please join in singing our opening song, At the Name of Jesus, which can be found at number 23 in your Blue Voices hymnal. Number 23 in your Blue Voices hymnal. my dear friends. Let us bless our souls in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. My name is Father Christopher Myers. I belong to the Society of Our Lady of the Most Holy Trinity, and I will share with you more later. At this time, we present ourselves with, to God with open hearts, and we ask God for his mercy, his forgiveness, his embracement. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Glory, glory to God in the highest. Glory, glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace 
us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us now listen to the word of God. And at this time, I would like to invite all the children to come up to receive a blessing before you have your teaching.
unto my feet and a light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. A prophet like me will the Lord, your God, raise up for you from among your own kin. To him you shall listen. This is exactly what you requested of the Lord, your God, at Horeb on the day of the assembly, when you said, let us not again hear the voice of the Lord, our God, nor see the great fire anymore, lest we die. And the Lord said to me, this was well said, I will raise up for them a prophet like you from among their kin, and will put my words into his mouth, and he shall tell them all that I command him. Whoever will not listen to my words, which he speaks in my name, I myself will make him answer for it. But if a prophet presumes to speak in my name, an oracle that I have not commanded him to speak, or speaks in the name of other gods, he shall die. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If today, if today you hear the voice of God, open up your heart and listen to his word. If today, if today you hear the voice of God,
A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, I should like you to be free of anxieties. An unmarried man is anxious about the things of the Lord, how he may please the Lord. But a married man is anxious about the things of the world, how he, will, how he may please his wife and is divided. An unmarried woman or a virgin is anxious about the things of the Lord so that she may be holy in both body and spirit. A married woman, on the other hand, is anxious about the things of the world, how she may please her husband. I am telling you this for your own benefit, not to impose a restraint upon you, but for the sake of proprietary and adherence to the Lord without distraction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. In the city of Capernaum, Jesus entered the synagogue on the Sabbath and began to teach. The people were spellbound by his teaching because he taught with authority and not like the scribes. There appeared in their synagogue a man with an unclean spirit that shrieked, What do you want of us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. Jesus rebuked him sharply, Be quiet. Come out of the man. At that, the unclean spirit convulsed the man violently and with a loud shriek came out of him. All who looked on were amazed. They began to ask one another, what does this mean? A completely new teaching in the spirit of authority? He gives orders to unclean spirits and they obey him? From that point on, his reputation spread throughout the surrounding region of Galilee. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, you have no idea how happy I'm here to be with you, especially in a parish named after St. Teresa of Avila. So just briefly, I don't want to talk about myself because it'll take about, oh, maybe five hours. <laughs> <laughs> but just briefly, I uh, retired from the United States Air Force after being affiliated with them for 27 years. And four years of that was completely full-time active duty, and all the other years were being with uh, the Air Force Reserves and being deployed several times overseas, if it be the Pacific or the Atlantic. 
when I had time away from the Air Force, I was also working full time with the, the Veterans Administration healthcare system, the VA, at Heinz VA Hospital, Jesse Brown, Lakeside, Danville, Illinois. And I came to understand and to learn many things about suffering, at least I thought. So, uh, in 2020, I was diagnosed with prostate cancer. But it wasn't a fast-growing cancer, as they told me, until they, <laughs> they had the surgery several months later, you know, somewhat taking their time. So when they did the biopsy, you know, it was the most aggressive type of cancer uh, that I could have had. And uh, so I was out of commission and retired from the VA in uh, 2021. And, and it took me, you know, the past years to recover from all of that. So this is the first mass in a parish or being with people since that time. I finally came out of it. I don't know, but there, there may be some cancer survivors here. I have more compassion now. I understand. And I'm so sorry for those who do go through it. And so far, I'm cancer clean, but that's no guarantee will be the years to come, but that's okay. I'm just glad to be back on my feet. And with that, with the name of the parish, St. Teresa of Avila, my father was a reconnaissance bomber pilot in the Air Force, and uh, when I was born in Topeka, Kansas, and then we transferred over to Madrid to Torrejon Air Base. And while we lived in Spain for three years, my family took me, my brother and sister, on a pilgrimage up north of Madrid. And where did we go? Avila, Spain. And so here I am, about five, six years old, and we go to the convent where St. Teresa of Avila lived in the monastery. We were greeted by, a, 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 I believe, a, a let's see, a Dominican, Augustinian? Um, an Augustinian priest, I, no, I don't remember. But anyway, uh, he took us into the main chapel and show, show, showed us the reliquarium where the relics of St. Teresa are. Uh, St. Teresa was uh, an incorruptible. And while we're in there, um, let's see, oh yes, there was a nun practicing the pipe organ. And, uh, and she did a fine job as far as I knew at five years of age. <laughs> And so when we left there, or when I was in the chapel, there's two things I always wanted to be, and that was a priest and an organist. <laughs> so <laughs> I became both. And, but I haven't played the pipe organ for years, and also the piano I haven't played for years as well. But I started taking lessons at the age of nine. So with all of that said, to, for my first parish to come and help out after all my uh, leave of absence to be here at St. Teresa, or St. Teresa, and, and I did ask her to help me to get back on my feet, and she brings me to your church. So I believe heaven's alive and well. So in our gospel reading, we hear that uh, how Jesus rebuked sharply in the demon within that individual. And uh, when I was in San Francisco, when I left active duty Air Force, I was in, at Travis Air Force Base near Napa Valley. And then the following year when I took that time out, I uh, lived with the Franciscans in San Francisco to do uh, hospital ministry at St. Mary's Hospital and to receive my certification in hospital ministry. I was in front of St. Boniface Church that the Franciscans had, and uh, very rarely did I ever go into church to attend Mass there, because I always had Mass myself on a Sunday at the hospital. So uh, one day after one of the Masses on Sunday, 
I went out and I was just walking up the sidewalk to go to a cafe and uh, all the people were coming out of church and um, they wouldn't know me from, from, from anything. And, and so there was this woman, she was about this high and she comes out and she looked really, really rough. And she looked at me and I looked at her as I was walking by. She goes, you're not a priest. I will touch you and I will get you. You're not a priest. You'll never be a priest. And I said, oh, good Lord, I think I've heard this before. And, uh, and I just turned away, like, disgusted, and I looked back. She was gone. My dear friend, heaven is alive and well, and so is hell. And uh, I made a 30-day Ignatian retreat down in Grand Coteau, Louisiana, with uh, the Jesuits. And so that familiar voice I heard during that retreat one night. And uh, there's a lot to be said. The diabolical is very strong and very powerful. But we don't have to be worried about that as long as we keep our souls clean and holy. We know who we belong to. And if any of us are having a difficult time believing in the real presence of Jesus in the Eucharist, we are vulnerable to be attacked. So I ask you to grow into this awareness of Jesus truly present in Eucharist. And when we come up to Holy Communion, to know that we ought to be in the state of grace to receive Holy Communion. It's a very serious matter. Now, not to go so much into that, I just simply want to say, I'm so happy to be here. And pray for the world. There's so many diabolical events happening and a lot of people who are possessed uh, by the devil. And uh, we pray for their conversion. It would be awful for them to go to hell and to live in hell for all eternity. And we pray for ourselves, our family members, and for each other. At this time, I would like to invite the catechumens for a special blessing to come up to the front. Please stand and let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, Begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. And for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. And by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. 
I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us pray that our hearts will be free from evil and filled with God's goodness to answer these prayers. That the grace of Christ will free the church from hypocrisy and disunity, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the peace of Christ will free all people from hatred and violence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the courage of Christ will free the sick and dying from their fears, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the power of Christ will free us from the spirit of pride, anger, and apathy, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dying and rising of Christ will free from their sins those who have died, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Lord would gather us together at the table and prompt within us a generous spirit to help our brothers and sisters in need as we support this year's annual Catholic appeal, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the intention of this Mass, Raul Roberto Montes, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for all victims of violence in the city of Chicago. LaShawn Johnson, George Appleton, Monique Haywood, Lamont Williams, and Jaquin Sawyer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray for all who are in special need of our prayers, for those for whom we have promised to pray, and for those we pause to remember in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. <laughs> Lord God, let your might remove from us all that lifts itself up against Jesus Christ, your Holy One, so that we may praise you with thanksgiving both now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. He became sin who knew no sin that we might become his righteousness he humbled himself and carried the cross love so amazing love so amazing jesus messiah the name above all for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, the Lord of all, His body the bread, His blood the wine, broken and poor. so amazing, love so amazing, Jesus Messiah, name above all names, blessed Redeemer, Amen. 
rescue for sinners, the ransom from heaven, Jesus Messiah, the Lord of all. All our hope is in you. All our hope
Savior's commandment, for by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us a day. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, who says your apostles, peace I need you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in our hearts with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to the Christ peace. Divinity. 
eternity consume me completely I am yours bread of life wine of peace body and blood soul and divinity consume me completely I am yours I surrender to the power of your And I surrender, let your will be done in me. Bread of life, wine of peace, body and blood, soul and divinity. Consume me completely. I am yours. Lead me to the silence. Where you whisper to my heart Lead me to the place Where your love consumes me Bread of life, wine of peace Soul and divinity consume me completely. I am yours. Let your light shine Let it shine in my heart Let your light shine Let me be your light in this world of peace, body and blood, soul and divinity, consume me completely. Body and blood, soul and divinity consume me completely. I am yours. Consume me completely. I
And now, my dear friends, we have a special surprise for you. A buona giornata to you all. I'm entering one of the newest churches in Rome dedicated to the merciful Father. It's a spectacular building. Um, all the stone, the marble, um, is made in such a way that it absorbs all the pollution. So it is a beautiful monument to the protection of our environment. This is the only church in the church named after the most merciful father in the year 2000. It's a spectacular building in the form of a boat or an ark. Looking at the beautiful blue sky. There's the Blessed Sacrament Chapel. And then there's the beautiful baptistry where you are immersed in the waters of baptism. I just thought I would share this with all of you on this beautiful journey into the heart of Rome. Um, I'm praying for you all. Peace to you all. Pace and Arrivederci. Yes, Father Frank is a very special priest you have. I was really impressed with him when I had a, a, a meeting with him a few weeks ago. You're very, very fortunate, very, very blessed. Wonderful, wonderful priest. of the stars one breath that gives life one sovereign and power who speaks with thunder and fire one Lord one King there is no other that can compare to you you are the one alone in greatness the one never changes Jesus you are the one who rose in power the one who reigns forever Jesus the one true God one man on the cross one light of the world one name, one word, one way to be saved, one lamb who was slain, one love above all. There is no other that can compare to you. You are the one alone in greatness, the one who never changed.
the one who reigns forever. Jesus, you're the one true God. You're the one true God. And we have seen the glory of the one and only Son of God. Yes, we have seen the glory of the one and only Son. And we have seen the glory of the one and only Son of God. Yes, we have seen the glory of the only one and Son of God. You are the one alone in greatness, the one who never changes. Jesus, you are. The one alone in greatness, the one who never changes. Jesus, you are the one who rose in power, the one who reigns forever. 